So to bring this teaching on the third noble truth home, uh, I've been practicing a what we can conceive of as like a Theravada Tai Chi. So uh, I'll teach everybody the movements. So um, if everybody, if you like having your eyes closed, no pressure, but I'll be doing some movements if you wanted to open your eyes. Um, so we'll basically, each one of these six aspects of the third noble truth, the fading away, the fading away, the cessation, the relinquishment, the letting go, the release, and the without any attachment. We're going to be creating an association with a particular uh, arm and hand gesture movement um, to embody these. And they do both have bodily correlates. There's a, a bodily aspect which you can feel and a mental um, aspect to these. So the first is uh, fading away. So we'll start with both hands just at the head, at the head level. And yeah, just actually get your hands tight, tight around this area. During the retreat, um, one of the Qigong Tai Chi teachers has an exercise called five to minus five. So the principle there is tensing up every muscle in your body. If your normal level of non-tension is a zero, you intentionally tense up everything in your body to a level five intensity, a level five intensity, and then you let go into this minus five. So this is the first move. This is the viraga, the disp uh, fading away. So first movement is starting off tense, a five, and then going to minus five, the fading away. This is the first movement. In this viraga, it's literally raga is passion or it's cognate with the English rouge, like the, that which people kind of put on their, their cheeks sometimes. Uh, it's a reddening. It's a dying of one's experience. And we're letting go of that intensity. You can imagine, like if you were, someone was to take a picture of you at your most angry or your most kind of like you're checking out that dude or that girl and you're at your most like sketchy kind of <laughs> looking at that, that person and someone was to take a photo of you at that moment, yeah, and it's, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly because, yeah, angry face, yeah, obsessed, you know, kind of sexualized face. It's kind of ugly. So someone was to take that photo, print it out on a normal printer, put it outside, and just let it sit there over a, uh, a summer. Just let it sit there for a week, a month, several months. Let it get the rain and the wind and the sun and the sun, and eventually all of that color is just going to naturally drain out. That's what we're doing. That's the, the mental movement. And we're intentionally, from this cognitive space, so many of us are caught up in our heads. And with this viraga, this dispassion, we are intentionally unhooking, unhooking from the, that which is beset, obsessed behind the eyeballs, that which is attached. So we're unhooking this dispassion. So releasing there. The next moment, motion, the next movement, the next gesture is cessation. And this is Niroda. So coming up from here and then just relaxing down to a heart level. Niroda, ni, the ni here in Pali means down. So it's a downward movement. Rud is a root meaning an obstruction or a rolling on. So Niroda is that which stops the rolling. It's that which makes the mind come down. And this is the release from a uh, cognitively, cerebrally obsessed and tight. You've relaxed with uh, fading away and then just bringing your awareness down into your body. Bringing awareness down into the body. As the hands move down, awareness comes into the body. So Niroda. This is kind of like this stopping of the, the wheel. Uh, it's like um, Roadrunner and uh, Wile e. Coyote. Like Roadrunner, he's, she's Wiley Coyote is chasing him, goes off the cliff. Uh, Roadrunner goes to the side. Wiley Coyote goes off the cliff and then keeps running a bit. And then when he realizes he's off of the cliff, obviously he falls down. And that's what we can do with this letting go, the cessation, cessation of uh, this cerebrally obsessed coming down into the heart space. So fading away, cessation. The next is relinquishment, chaga. So coming out with both, with both hands.
And this is a useful gesture. It can be, um, why have our, uh, the only associations we have with meditation be in a still posture? We move in the world. So coming out with this chaga, this is relinquishment. So when our awareness is inside the body like this, as I was suggesting in the meditation, you'll realize when you close your eyes and start feeling, where is the outer limit of my body? Where is the skin? Where is the peel? If you are inside of a grape, it seems like, or inside of a balloon, it seems like you'll be able to reach out and I can feel the edge of my skin like that. Um, I used to uh, volunteer at the Contemporary Art Museum of Cincinnati and uh, they had this artist who would paint things in latex paint and then uh, like humans in latex paint and then escape the person from the latex paint. It forms like this latex shell and then he would blow up the shell so you've got this kind of like floppy skin like thing. And it was kind of neat. Um, but it's not like that. When you are embodied, eyes closed and even not eyes closed, it's fuzzy. You can't feel an outer limit or at least I can't. Experiment with that. So with this chaga, with this relinquishment, releasing those boundaries, realizing that uh, where is the boundary between inside and outside? So relinquishment and letting go. You've expanded your awareness from outside. You've let your awareness see, oh, actually, it seems like I can feel beyond the uh, confines of this skin bag. And then letting go is just coming back in. I can include both internal and external. So I've relinquished mindfulness out, expanding how wide can mind be, and then letting go to come back in and include the internal cessation. So fading away, cessation, relinquishment, letting go. The next is release, which is muti. So just from hands that have come in with letting go to muti. Just release is the word here. And muti is the Pali word, and that should be easy to remember because it just sounds like a party. Muti, release, liberation. Freedom, muti, much, mocha, vimoka, uh, all of these things. It's a it's a, a liberative feeling, and then just this letting go and setting down of of our mental obsessions. And the final move is without any attachment. So we've come down, and then just hands down on the knees. So without any further attachments, analio, not not attaching. So that all of those six movements again are. We're tense, we're obsessed with certain idea, whether it's in meditation or throughout our daily life, and we, we raga, we fade away from that. Relinquishment, down, which is niroda, patin, uh, chaga, which is relinquishment. We relinquish our sense that we're only contained within the body, then letting go back in, including the body and the outside, then release, muti, and then without any attachment, just hands coming down. And this can be an exercise which I've been doing both in meditation and in daily life. And you don't have to do the full uh, six. Um, you can, and you can start from that analio without any further attachment back up to the head and then go through the full again. Or just stay with any one of those. Stay with any one of those. Fading away, cessation, relinquishment, release, uh, letting go, release, and without any attachment. And this is, we can relate to our convert Buddhist dukkha in any of these ways. When you come down to meditation and the mind is not as peaceful as you want it to be, okay, uh, relinquish, just um, release this ideal because none of us are ideals. None of us are um, exactly the way we want to be all the time in every way. And certainly our meditative lives aren't going to be like that. And with our precepts, you know, we, it's good to be able to hold on to them. Um, but the stress, the mental stress that we build up around the good habits that we want to, uh, to live when we can't, um, when our mind is not going along with that, let there be a sense of fading, a uh, sense of cessation, relinquishment, release, letting go, uh, an opening and an including of what seems like dissonance. And when you do that, when you're able to do this, when you're able to open up to, this is how things are, this is how the body is, this is how the mind is, um, but then include that this is how the mind is, this is how the body is, uh, you can be at peace with it. And uh, 
actually experience a type of meta singlety, um, overarching, overlooking uh, perspective of peace, which you don't actually have to uh, completely get rid of all of the obstructive mental states uh, at that time. So leave the talk there. Annamayam dhammakataya sadhu karam tadama se sadhu 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 anumodam